Hi, Floss Tube. Hi, Floss Tube. I'm Chris. I'm Jane. And we're the Boss Stitchers. Today is Wednesday, December 8th, and we're glad you joined us. It was the just the first little bit touch of snow today. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. A few flakes. Yeah. A few flakes. So, um, uh, for those who are subscribers and are joining us again, thanks for stopping by. And those that are um, new, welcome to our channel. Since we saw you last, we've had Thanksgiving, mm -hmm. the start of the holiday season. Mm -hmm. Hope you had a nice one. We had a nice, quiet one here ourselves. Um, there were the four of us, and my daughter had a colleague from Korea who came. Mm -hmm. He was heading home the next day for the first time in two years. Wow. So um, yeah. he was very nice, very personable, and uh, we learned a little bit about Korea anyway. <laughs> he learned a little bit about Thanksgiving? Yes, he did, although uh, my daughter did tell him that although the signs were all traditional, that um, people typically do not have beef at Thanksgiving. Mm. That mm -hmm. was new for us this year, too, okay. but uh, it may continue. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> How about yours? Um, well, my husband's one of seven, so we go to my sister-in-law's, and uh, so with the siblings, the spouses, <laughs> the kids... The kids the who are having kids, kids. yeah. Um, it was it was a house full, but it was really fun. So yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. and you have some more news, right? We did have quite an exciting month. It uh, November started off with a bang. Um, my daughter got engaged, which was very exciting. Mm -hmm. We're very happy about that. And then she followed that up a couple of weeks later by getting her PhD. So we had a lot to celebrate this Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. That was yeah. really nice. Excellent. Yeah. So um, would you like to throw out the first stitch? I'd love to. Okay. <laughs> and Jane, yeah. I've actually got a few whips this oh, time. Oh, <laughs> all right. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, well, this this is a baby one in terms of how much I've accomplished so far. <laughs> so it has a beautiful uh, seasonal mm -hmm. um, needle minder for my friend Kathy. And, oops, sorry. thought I had this a little closer. And this is an ink circle design. It's called Coco Time. <clears throat> I've got very little done on this. I just put a few stitches in last night. Um, it's the called for colors, but the fabric looks to be something similar that, uh, thank you, mm -hmm. that they're, um, there's shown on the patent, but I really love this material. Mm -hmm. It's um, Fabrics by Stephanie. It's 28 count Lugana in Briar Rose. And I got this when we were at Galleria. That's probably a... Looks, the yeah, that looks, looks pretty true, yeah. true doesn't mm -hmm. it? Yeah, yeah. And um, my goal on this, which I'll probably be saying a number of times, is 200 stitches. Um, Jane and I are both doing the 22 projects in 22 version of No New Starts next year. So I'm trying to get as many of these done at 22 as possible. Um, although the flexibility is nice that you don't have to name everything if you right. yeah. don't want to. Yeah. So yeah. that's good, but yeah. I'd like to get a bunch of them in. Yeah. Um, so I am kind of working away on a lot of smalls towards that. This is Eat Cake by Lindy Stitches. And I bought the kit for this, and I've got maybe I'm just a little over hmm. uh, 200 on this one. And <clears throat> this again was the kit. So this was mm, 32 count linen, 
Demoiselle, do we think? By Picture List Plus. Uh -huh. Demoiselle. So that should be a, a, a quick one, I hope. Mm -hmm. Make a nice little birthday gift. <clears throat> and then this next one, and I didn't really put a whole lot of more stitches in, but it's In My Defense by My Big Toe Designs. Another one that I'm going for the 200 on. So I did a little bit more of the lettering on this one. This is on 28 count Picture This Plus Valor. Is that 200? Uh, yeah, it is. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Maybe just about exact, yeah. huh? <laughs> <laughs> uh, and that should be another a pretty quick one. That one I'm uh, not doing exactly as it is there, but using similar um, colors, colors and, mm -hmm. but just kind of less of them. Mm -hmm. And the, of the whips, the one that I worked on the most, which is in this beautiful mm -hmm. London theme bag by our friend Missy, that I just yeah. love. The fabric's awesome. Yeah, it is. And this is Lucy Beam, I Will Find You. That's a fun one. And again, just about 200. <laughs> so each time I start one of these, I'm dying to keep going, but I'm getting my 200 in and putting it moving away on. and moving on. Mm -hmm. And this is on um, um, 28 Count Legacy. Picture this plus linen. That's pretty too. Is that the call for? Uh, no, I don't know. It wasn't the call for. Okay. Yeah. I'll probably, I'm starting out with the call for colors. Look at the inside probably, of this bag. Yeah. Look at how cute that she is. There's no detail. I know. I missed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I also should have showed that um, the Ink Circles project is also in a beautiful bag from my friend Lillian. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, and that is lovely as well. And that fabric, too. Yeah, that fabric's awesome. Yeah, yeah. Did a great job on that. <laughs> and I think that's it for the whips. Okay. All right. All right. Um, so I did really very little stitching um, these past couple of weeks. You um, did? Yeah. <laughs> I've been doing some organizing <laughs> and um, uh, working. We've been doing um, COVID vaccine boosters at work. And so I've um, yeah. been intimately involved <laughs> in running those clinics. And uh, so it's... Um, well, we're all glad for that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, so really cutting into that stitching time, it, though, it isn't is, it? Yeah, it certainly is. Um, and I have to play with Chester in the evening because if I don't, he'll destroy my house. So I have to get him tired out a little bit. Uh, anyway, a so, schedule, isn't it? I know. Um, so a couple of projects that I worked on though was um, Under the Sea, and um, this is from. Um, a Stony oh, Creek book, and it is the it is Nature's Best for the Bath booklet, and <clears throat> here is the the booklet, and I'm doing this pattern here. Um, so I did a little bit more down here. I did some, I brought the border down and stitched across on the border. Um, there's one really big fish that goes in there. So I started that a little bit and, um, this is on a 28 count white Lugana. This is for a friend of mine whose birthday is January 14th. Oh, the pressure's <laughs> on, Jane. I don't know. I don't, I don't know if um, 
I don't know if that'll happen. Um, Were it, you working it, on this it, last January 14th? I was, actually. <laughs> yes, as a matter of fact. But you, you've uh, I've done a lot some, more. You sure have. Um, yeah. So. yeah. But, uh, but yeah, not by uh, then. Uh, it's coming soon. Yeah, I thought, you know, it's fish. It's summery. <gasps> if I don't have it for her birthday, I will hopefully certainly have it um, by the by the summer. So... You're giving yourself a pretty wide and, berth there, I think. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then my other whip um, that I have in my Looney Tunes bag <laughs> from Studio 88 West. Um, they're uh, vinyl front bags, um, 15 by 15, so they fit a lot of stuff in it. Yeah. Um, that this one, my next whip is uh, Leela's Studio Let Freedom Ring. And on this one, I am in backstitch hell. <laughs> Still at it, huh? <laughs> yeah. So here's here's the full project. Um and really what I've just been doing is the backstitching in this house so along here in the bottom and now i'm backstitching um the windows uh so looks terrific huh yeah i really like the way it yeah. looks um i still have i know it's hell jane but it to, really is uh making yeah. it i still have quite a bit to go but out. um yeah little by little and um i have fallen behind a bit on this uh with my you know, that was doing 30 minutes oh, a day. Oh, right, right. Um, well. Yeah. And this is on a 36-count linen. Um, uh, it's called Pampers Grass by uh, Seraphim. Um, and that is really all I've been stitching. All right. And that hasn't been much. But with, I stitched on it. Um, I stitched on Let Freedom Ring the last time we were at the World in Stitches. Oh, right, right. And um, you did a lot of backstitch that day. I did. <laughs> so, it felt like I did a lot of backstitching, but I was like, it was like five hours, and I think I did like five windows. Or, I gotta stop talking and shopping while I'm there. I, you know, it was a stitch group. I should sit down and stitch. But someday. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, All right. Yeah. Um, well, on to finishes, which I have none, but I no. understand that you Rumor do. Has it. Yes. <laughs> I have one finish, one FFO, and my finish is Por Favor, and I don't have it with me because... Um, I immediately sent it off to our finisher. <laughs> and so I hope I'll have a... I did tell her no rush. But um, hopefully sometime soon I'll have an FFO to show you. Mm -hmm. But um, I've talked about this one a lot. Um, I put it away for a while, but I didn't really have very much more to do on it. And I really loved everything about this. I loved the... It was just fun to do, and mm -hmm. I loved the um, fabric. It was on... Um, uh, platinum, 28 count Swigart, I believe, casual linen, and um, I used the call fours and uh, weeks. It was just really fun. Mm -hmm. And you, you sent me a picture of, of it, right? I did. Oh, oh, yeah. yeah. So I'll hopefully I'll that will be in there. And um, I've, I've kind of found myself obsessed with. The th doing smalls since <laughs> Frugal Yankee. Like, I'm always saying, oh, they make a great small for a retreat. So I think that might show up again in, in the future is that. you think, like, I have, like, 20 retreats planned next year the way I'm, I'm justifying all this purchasing. So my next is an FFO. And that's already wrapped for Christmas. Wow. <laughs> and this is a, was a quick little stitch from my uh, apparently bottomless Pine Mountain collection. <laughs> 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 this is a uh, work gift. You better not pout. 
in this also as a very fun quick stitch. And uh, I just got the pillow and I popped it in the back there. Oh wow. And I really like the way this one fits. I think it's called a flange pillow. Mm. This way that comes out mm -hmm. and um Oh so this wasn't a kit? Uh, it, well, it was a kit, but the bigger ones, Pine Mountain, you have to buy the pillows separately for oh, them. Oh, okay. The littler ones come with it. Okay. Yeah. So, another one down. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> for the right. crinkle? That's it on that. <laughs> Only that open because I want oh, to okay. inspect that a oh, little bit course. later on. All right. Okay. Um, want to um, move on to... Yes, haul, yes, so, um, I have haul, but um, I want to show, uh, we're going to do random acts of kindness oh, yeah. first, and um, the, when I was last at the World in Stitches uh, for Stitch Group, um, one of my fellow stitchers, um, Karen, um, gave me um, a gift, and... Um, first of all, I have to show you the bag because look at how cute the bag is. Look at how cute this bag is. She loves so, it. No detail untouched. Yeah. Um, so Karen was supposed to go to the Frugal Yankee at uh, East Hill Farm with us. And unfortunately, she got sick um, before the weekend and wasn't able to make it. Um, she did, however, stitch a small, and while she was stitching it, um, she was stitching it at the group, and um, so I saw it for, you know, a couple weeks in a row, and, uh, you know, admired it, and was, you know, kind of joking with her, okay, Karen, tell me, you know, wh how you're going to wrap it so that I can, <laughs> you know, um, so um, she, she wasn't able to go, but at our last stitch group, she... Um, gave me a gift and this is what she stitched for frugal yankee that she wasn't able to exchange so she gave this to me and um i'm just overwhelmed by the generosity it was just so nice and this says in the shadows of monadnock we gathered and these are all little french knots and she's got the mountain stitched here it's and this is all like hand stitched, yeah. And then in the back, she has these little stars, and it's a um, magnetic closure. And on the inside, the inside says the Inn at East Hill Farm, November 2021, and a little moon charm there. Um, she put Pat Carson needles in here. A uh, real treasure. Yes, now. <laughs> I know. 24, 26, and 28. And um, she put uh, a card, a nice note in here. Dear fellow stitcher, I hope you enjoy your East Hill Farm needle book. It was stitched with lots of love and a few choice words. <laughs> <laughs> Um, also in here is a pair of, wow. of scissors. Um, so just a be just beautiful workmanship. Oh, yeah. Um, I so admired this when she was stitching it and, um, I can't believe that I, that it's mine. So that would have gotten um, a lot of oohs and ahs on the brag table there. Yeah, huh? that's for sure. Yeah. That is just gorgeous. So, yes. Thank you so much, Karen. Um, this was, you know, just overwhelming, um, and I love it. <laughs> I can't wait to carry it around with me all the time. <laughs> well, I also was the recipient of some stitchy kindness and from Melina at uh, Count Twice, Stitch Once. And this is Happy Halloween from Rosewood Manor. And this has kind of a funny story because every year that Jane and I have gone to Galleria, I have stood and stared at this in their booth for way too long. And this year, Jane couldn't take anymore. So when I was there, she said, 
for God's sake, just buy it. <laughs> and I said, I can't. I don't remember if I did or not. <laughs> it was. It's like an old friend. I had been visiting it for so long. So Melina did, of course, a beautiful finish on this that I saw on Instagram. So I was complimenting on her and telling her our tale of uh, this chart at Galleria. And because um, we had seen she and her mom, Connie, at Galleria. And um, so she kindly said to me, well, if you don't have it, let me know and I'll send it to you. So I thought, well, that was some motivation to actually look around. <laughs> and I didn't have it. <laughs> and now I do. So thanks to Melina. I can't tell you. <laughs> I can't tell you how thankful I am that you sent this. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. This you, is you more are... of a random act of kindness for me than it is for Chris. <laughs> I wonder if you bought this and sent it to them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> so I'm very happy to have this, and I look forward to at least a start, if not a finish on this in 22. <laughs> All right, now on to haul? Now on to haul. All right. All right, so um, from our last video, if you remember, uh, we were taking a trip to um, Town Ho in... Brewster. Brewster, on Cape Massachusetts. Uh, it's a needlework store, and we went the day after Thanksgiving. Um, had a wonderful time. Had a wonderful time. It was, um, it's a very interesting little store. Um, lots of, um, needlepoint. So any of you needlepointers go, you yeah. know, you should go down there. Tons and tons of, um, canvases. Yeah. Uh, yeah. so, um, but he did, he did have quite a few, um, cross stitch charts also. And Chris and I, I think, touched every one of I them. I think so. Yeah. I don't think yeah. we left any stone unturned no. by the time we left. No. Um, so I picked up a few things. Um, the first thing I got was the um, Cherry Wood Design Studios. Um, this is called, uh, it's a collaboration between Cherry Wood and Ink Circles. It's called Baltimore. Baltimore. <laughs> And let me see if I can show you. So this is the this is the whole chart. And when I bought this, I didn't realize that I was only buying half the chart. So I bought I bought this half from Cherry Wood Designs. And then it says to go out and find the left half, which is the ink circle side. So I did. <laughs> And the ink circles uh, left half was way more than I thought that I should be paying for a left half of a, of a chart like this. So the good news is that um, it's symmetrical. So I'm just going to flip it and use the same chart for both the left and the right side. Um, it does have these little um, patterns in the middle, um, but I will find something that I can put in there uh, and, you know, kind of make up my own thing for the ink circle side. And no one will be the wiser. No one will be the wiser. No. And, and I'm not, because I'm not spending what, <clears throat> what ink circle girls wanted to charge for me for half a chart, I am not spending. So... I really like Tracy, but <laughs> um, the next thing I got was um, the uh, a Foxwood Crossings um, Finch Visit. I have a lot of these. I didn't have this one, so I decided that I would add that one to my collection. Yeah. You always like those birds. I do, and yeah. I do like doing those little slits. Yes, yeah. You've done about three dozen by now. Right? Yeah, I think I have yeah. quite a quite a few. Um, I gave them all away though. I don't. Know, I know. I don't have yeah. any. For, really? I don't have any for myself. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> um, this one I thought was you know 
uh, interesting. Um, I'm going to call it the Battle of Gettysburg because it really doesn't have a title on it. It's an Oberlin um, sampler's design. Have you been to Gettysburg? I have not. Well, it's your motivation. I have, yeah. yeah. Very nice little town. Hmm. This is an old Teresa Wensler. Oh. Um, this is back when Teresa Wensler, I think, wasn't Teresa Wensler. Really? Oh, she was T.W.? Because it, it was, this is a T.W. Design Works, oh. and I couldn't find a copyright on here. The copyright says T.W. Design Works. Really? So there's no, no year on this. Well, that um, is certainly classic. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and this is called Holly and Ivy Sampler. And I'll see if I can get it up and show you. This is really not going to focus that well. That's not too bad. Um, but it's the the, um, the song, the Holly and the Ivy. And I think it, I, the border here is really pretty. And, uh, I, I was just reading the uh, back of that as you were showing it, uh -huh. and it does kind of sound like it was almost when she was starting out under that. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. kind of going out on her yeah. own and doing that. Yeah. Oh, I love this one. Um, this one, this is one of those terrible, can never get the terrible plastic ones off. that I can't get the plastic off, so I'm going to try to fake it. Uh, this is the Cricut Collection, and this is called Skeleton Crew. <clears throat> and on the, I'm going to, I'm going to take this apart. Rip the band-aid off. Yeah. And then not bother putting it back in its <laughs> sleeve. <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll, I don't know. Maybe I'll I will. Okay. Okay. So, um, this is the Cricut Collection. It's called Skeleton Crew. And here it says 16 men on a dead man's ship. That's not how it goes, but that's what it says. Hmm. Took a little poetic license there. I think so. Isn't it's cute, though, a, isn't it? It is really cute. Isn't there one out this year that's kind of similar to that? Yeah, what is it? Yeah. It's, um, well, we'll think of it by next time. We'll think of <laughs> it. <Yeah>. Maybe. <laughs> um, let's see. This one. Um, that's oh, pretty. This one is not even... Um, this is called Welcome to Our Christmas House. It's from the Merry Noel Collection, um, Homespun Elegance. So that's what it looks like. It's very pretty. Yeah, and um, the reason I got this is because I already have... Oh, what did I do with it? I already have a companion piece for oh. it. So this again is the Merry Noel collection and it's called Christmas Cheer Abides Within. Ah. So here are the two. Who knew that? Oh, I know, oops. <laughs> <laughs> so here are the two who, together. Who knew there was a collection of these? I didn't, but I got this one and then when I saw <laughs> this one, I had to get it, right? Yeah, exactly. I had no choice. Meant to be. Um, this one I've looked at for a long time, and I'm thinking that maybe my finisher could make this into a, a tree wow. stand-up. So, Ooh, okay. Janet, if you're watching, think tree stand-up <laughs> when I show this. This is called uh, Born This Day. It's Glendon Place. And uh, it says, For Unto You is born this day in the city of David, a savior who is Christ the Lord. I so, like the idea of the stand-up on that. Me too. Yeah. And I know Janet can do it. I know. Here's another one. So let me tell you about this one. So <laughs> many years ago <laughs> when... Um, Back to Stitching Jubilee? Uh, yes. Yeah. yeah. When we used to go to... Pennsylvania. When we used to go to Pennsylvania. This one is... You have a problem with all of these. This oh, geez. Broke. <laughs> um, so when we used to go to Pennsylvania, um, Chris bought a chart, and it was called It's 5 O'Clock Somewhere. 
and a really nice chart. And it was. It was like the nicest one we had ever yeah. seen of that ill. Yes, kind of thing. definitely. Yeah. And um, so I wanted to stitch it. So I said to my friend, Chris, um, hey, remember that chart? She's like, yeah, I remember that chart. <laughs> so can I borrow it? Sure, you can borrow it when I can find it. So how long ago was that? I don't oh, know. But anyway, geez. I still have yet to. It could to, be a decade. I still it? have yet to stitch it. <laughs> And I saw this one, and I thought that this it might not it, it's might it not looks be the really same, familiar but it's, anyway. it looks close. Yeah, it's yeah. cute. So, anyways, this is called "It's Five O'clock Somewhere," and it's by Water's Edge. Jane, you think I can borrow that someday? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> well, I think those are cute. I might break. I, I would. So. I would probably brighten up the colors a bit, but I think that that's cute. I guess I deserve it. <laughs> <laughs> um, this one I liked, uh, Seaside Garden Sampler. It's by uh, the Victoria Sampler. And this one looks like one that I don't need, like, a lot of beads and, you know, a bunch of different... I mean, there's probably... I'm sure there's specialty stitches in here, but, you know, it doesn't look like some of those crazy ones that they have. Yeah. Um, uh, if you like the Cricut collection, Town Ho had oh, a yeah, they huge did have an collection. Impressive amount. Yeah. I don't want to say that was like one of the biggest collections of designers they had. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and let's see. So this is called Free Range, and this is the Cricut collection. And we have some chicks over here with fresh eggs. That looks like a beehive. That's cute. This is an oldie. Um, mm -hmm. 1992, Ooh. Grass by Barbara and Cheryl. And um, this one I had never seen before. This is called Summer Colors. And not that I'll ever do it, but I have a bunch of their designs. And um, but I like this one. Yeah, this is one of, this a lot is, of pretty pink. This one is things. a very pretty one. Yeah. And then Chris made me buy this. Uh, this is she a, didn't resist too hard though. <laughs> this is a cross my heart, and um, the booklet is um, Arctic Arc. And, I mean, how many times do you see a Noah's Ark with that winter theme there? That's true. Yeah. That's true. And the animals And you have all the cute. other the summer theme <laughs> yeah, ones, that's right? right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Cross my heart, though. Boy, they, their church. It takes are, you back, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, look, it's it's one of those. Oh, jeez. It's one that you have, I'm oh. going to I'm gonna have to pull out because the... Chart is not. <laughs> well, maybe you won't have it's to. It's gonna be a chart it. like. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's my town ho hall. Um, I have one more thing that I couldn't resist um, that I'm gonna show, and this is a, a new autumn lane, and it's called Santa Claus is Coming to Town, and I just thought that this was really cute. Had some really nice bright colors. Yeah. It's Santa with his list. A and a little, little town in the background. Um, so I don't know when or if I'll stitch it, but I had to have it. All right. All right. Well, I picked up a few things, too. <laughs> um, my most recent acquisition is yet another fine <laughs> out again. <laughs> Jane told me about that sale on 123 Black Friday, and she was ordering a few things, and I thought, I could use one more quick gift. So this is Ho Ho Ho. Oh, from there, they did a special delivery, uh, I think, you know, with stamps from 1 to 12 for each month of the year. So... That should be a quick one. And then I also did a little uh, town hoe shopping. Kind of hard to resist when you're there. <laughs> oh, the other thing they have a nice collection of is Mill Hill kits. Hmm. 
And I picked this one up. Let me turn that just a bit um, so we can get some of the glue yeah, on. Yeah, not sure what it's called, but it's a it fall is called covered, covered bridge. bridge, just like what it is. Yeah, it's pretty. Yeah. And then on the winter theme, I got this little one. This looks like a Jim Shore. This is called Snow Bells. Oh, that's Jangle, I guess, from the Snow Bell collection. And then I started, uh, I finished one Prairie Schooler this year, Santa, and um, am on to another. So they had a few of the older ones. And uh, I don't feel like I need to get every single one of these in the series, but um, I just get the ones that catch my eye. This is 2000, and this is 2006. I'll show the 2000 again. Uh, this one here. Cool. Uh, that's that. And... Then I picked up this Little House Needleworks, and this is from uh, Exodus chapter 20, verse 16, and it says, Thou shalt not bear fault witness against thy neighbor, and it is based on Salem, 1692. Hmm. I didn't see you pick this up. You didn't? No, I don't think so. Oh, jeez. Hmm. Lucky thing I got it then before <laughs> you stopped me. And I also found a couple in the Cricut collection. Let's see if they see a year on that. Not that I can read very easily anyway. Um, this is Rest and Be Thankful. And I got this because uh, I liked this farmhouse scene there and this is also a fall themed one and again I I was obsessed with the thought of this could be a future <laughs> small Jane for an exchange so that's my thinking on that one and then I couldn't resist a, a more modern one from Barbara Anna Designs. Mm. And I think that's just a simple, bright, cheery looking mm -hmm. design. And it's called Merry Since. And I guess it's up to me to decide what year. <laughs> um, that's all yeah, I got. I, like this one. I, I have the, I have a Halloween one of hers that's the key. Okay, so. yeah, yeah. Cute. Well, when you stitch that up for me, it'll go nice with this. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> and then I got a couple of other little things from one, two, three. Um, I have been eyeing so many of Carolyn Manning's designs, mm. and I can never quite decide, you know, what I like. Um, I mean, I've... I think the pattern is very similar on a lot of them, and, and it's just the colors. But this one against the black was just really vi looked vibrant to me. And um, so because I'm on that thinking of smalls, <laughs> I thought, I think I'll get some 20-count black Ada. And um, that might make a nice basis for a pin cushion or something for a small so mm -hmm. we'll see on that theme i got some 20 count um vintage country mocha mm. <coughs> so another design in um an older magazine i thought i could do something similar with and last but not least another ink circle might be pronouncing that wrong but Hamsa Mandala. Um, mandalas always catch my eye, but I, I always kind of think afterwards, I don't know exactly what I'd do with it. But um, this one I thought was kind of unique, and uh, I do love ink circle designs. And I also loved the fabric. 
uh, that Tracy had put it on, which is this splatter material mm. from Zweigart. It's a uh, uh, light mint Lugana, 32 count. Nice. Splat, I guess it's called. So that's that. Okay. Yeah. I gotta so get that's, working on that's these. Don't I get, get it my... up? Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, I don't think that takes too much thread either. Mm -hmm. Versus this one, which. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> but, but we do <laughs> yeah. own every color of DMC somewhere, don't we? Oh, sure we do. <laughs> yeah. Except the one that we need. Yeah. So I guess that brings us to plans. Yeah, I have one more um, piece of haul that I forgot about, and um, that is my um, General Art Floss of the Month Club. Oh, yeah. Um, and I get this from um, Welcome Stitchery, and I got a new installment. Um, these are some um, Bs, Cs, and Ds. So um, would you mind holding sure. that? Um, this is, um, brown, let's move this up, see if you can, this is, uh, brown bear. Uh, that doesn't look too bad. And, um, baby spinach. Mm -hmm. That's good. And black raspberry jam. Ooh, that's a different it's one. It's kind of like huh? a purple. Yeah, deep, deep purple. Yeah. Um, I like that. This is carrot. <laughs> Aptly named. Mm -hmm. And cherry bark. Oh, I love cherry bark. It's one of my favorite shades. And cherry wine. You can be on a food theme here. I know. And then um, deep sea. Um, oh, here's another C. Current. Actually, let me see. That one's not showing up too well. Yeah, it's not quite as dark as it looks there, is it? Yeah. It's more of a... Yeah, it's a little bit lighter. It's a little bit more. It kind of looks Ooh. brown in there. Yeah. But. And this is a deep forest. So a nice green and. Very nice. And last is um, dragonfly. And this has some um, greens and browns in it. So I think that one's pretty too. Yeah, that is. So wow. that now is the end of my haul. <laughs> and yes, on to plans. Okay. What would you like to do for the next few weeks? Well, I think we both have something similar in mind <laughs> as we get those uh, 22 projects kitted up, 200 mm -hmm. stitches in them. Yep. Um, as we may have alluded to, there's some flexibility to it. Um, uh, Jane did the purest ver version this year, but um, in 2022, there's a version where you can um, you have the flexibility of doing 22 projects, and you don't have to actually name them all ahead of time. Say if we come up with 20, then you can have two as open slots. And they're broken up into uh, four categories, mm -hmm. small, medium, large, and big-ass projects. And they tell you what fault, what the parameters are within each of those. And um, that gives you some flexibility. And also, if you finish one in a category, then you get a new start in that, too. Yeah. So uh, kind of nice to know that you don't have to have it all planned out. It is, By yeah, and mid, the stroke of midnight right. on the thirty first, <laughs> and um, because of this flexibility, um, I'm doing this again. Otherwise, I wouldn't be because um, my next, my twenty twenty two is I want to start doing a lot of smalls, 
I have a whole basket full of things that um, I've been wanting to stitch that I've been holding off on. And um, 2022 is the year. <laughs> so finish a small, pull out another one. So, yeah. um, so, right. So my plan, my, you know, our plan is to um, finalize our list. Um, and then my other plan is um, I need to uh, organize my smalls. Mm, so okay. I mean there are some that yeah. you know I want to stitch now some that yeah I might want to stitch some that mm, you know I I might stitch if I had nothing else to stitch <laughs> um but I think categorize categorizing yeah. them too yeah, Halloween Christmas oh yeah you know that yeah. kind of thing so yeah. that I can kind of mix it up or, right. or maybe do either seasonal stitching or finish smalls before the season so I can actually Use put out them. the small <laughs> for the season uh, so uh, a little bit more planning so i think we'll have a little more to show on that on our what do you think we'll have one more last episode on 21 i think so yeah yeah mm -hmm. and i think i'm finally going to be ready for the <laughs> much talked about <laughs> whip parade <laughs> On our next episode? Yes, I think so. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You heard it here, folks. <laughs> <laughs> so tune in. <laughs> All right. Well, we probably won't see you um, before. We'll probably see you the week between Christmas and New Year's. Yeah, I think right? that's a good plan. Hope you all uh, stay well. Um, remember, wear your masks, wash your hands. Uh, this uh, holiday season, um, I think we're, we are going to be having a surge um, or at least a spike in the coronavirus. So please um, keep you and your family safe. Um, stay home and stitch. Stay home and stitch. Yeah. That's probably the best idea. Yeah. Um, well, until we see you next time, um, be well. Have a great holiday season. Bye-bye.